Okay, so I got a comment a couple weeks ago from Nicholas Rosa, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, uh, who created this map, A Hiking World, which apparently is impossible. So there's 70 locations, so I can probably replay it a couple times uh, without getting too many repeat rounds, but let's see how this goes. Um, only trail coverages and photospheres, so that I assume that means that it could be any country in the world, uh, not necessarily countries that actually have street view. So I'm going to do a challenge here. Oh, should I do it no moving? Wait. Well, if some of them are photospheres, I think I should do it no moving just to kind of even out the rounds. Uh, so that there's, because you don't want some rounds to be able to move around and then others uh, where you can't move around. But okay, there we go. That should be good. So that will be in the description as long as I didn't lose it or something somehow. So here we go. This is going to be very difficult. I'm not going to spend too much time on each round just because um, I probably won't even be close. So yeah, where would this be? So you can't use the compass, can't trust the compass. Actually, no, this is the trail camera, so the compass is going to be accurate for this one. So the sun is to the south, so northern hemisphere. Don't have any trees here. Look at this landscape here. I don't even know where this would be. I feel like it's far north. But then we have this big, like, plains area, which is kind of confusing me. Um... I think it could be in Russia. I'm not sure which countries have the trail camera uh, coverage for Street View. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to go Russia or actually it could be Norway, but like where would Norway have such a big area like this? Perhaps up here. I don't know what these areas look like. Maybe something like this. I guess I don't really even have to click on a road or anything. I'm going to click there. Oh, Iceland. I, Iceland kind of crossed my mind, but I wasn't that confident with it. And I thought if I do Iceland, then it would be way off. Um, but yeah, that didn't turn out so well. I got the kind of North Atlantic thing kind of right. But the... Uh, actually, this is probably not even North Atlantic. This is probably Arctic Ocean where I guess. But anyway... Uh, the score was pretty bad. 1,300 points. Let's move on here. Oh, what's this? Well, it's a Switzerland flag, so... Um, I think I should be getting a decent score here. I don't know if it's... If there's going to be anything... Yeah, there's nothing really to look for or to go... Uh, go with or clues or anything to, like, narrow it down. We are in a valley that goes kind of, like, southeast. Um, but other than that... There isn't really much to uh, to go with here. Maybe something like this. Okay, it's pretty close. Uh, actually, no. Well, considering I already knew the country, uh, wasn't that great of a guess. But overall, it was good. The score was good. Sixty-five kilometers off is is decent. Uh, probably the best I'm gonna um, best round I'm gonna get in this game. Best score I'm gonna get. I mean. Um, Okay, so this thing looks, this vehicle doesn't look American, but this one does, which is confusing me. Uh, I can't tell what side of the road the steering wheels are on, or, or what side of the car the steering wheels are on. Um, doesn't, I, at first I thought it was uh, tropical, but I don't think it actually is. Uh, I think it could be New Zealand, maybe. Not really sure. Um, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to go New Zealand. Uh, I think the South Island is the one that has more of this type of, like, mountainous stuff and, I don't know, all, like, scenery type of things. I think is more in the South Island, so I'm just going to go somewhere like that. Let's see. Okay, it was, wow. So it was New Zealand. Uh, just a bit farther south. Could I have, like, picked up... Oh, okay, so there was a... Actually, I should have... I forgot about there being a road that just ended there because there was a parking lot, but I'm not going to worry too much about that, uh, that type of thing because I wasn't even sure if I was in the correct country there, but it turned out well. Um, I think this could be the Mediterranean. 
um, somewhere like uh, Montenegro or Croatia or something. Could also be like Sicily or Crete or something maybe, but I think I'm probably going to go up here, maybe Albania. Uh, very mountainous. I guess this part is more mountainous. Uh, this is Montenegro. Um, let's go here. Oh shit, Corsica. Okay. Um, that was a Google Street View too. Uh, our Google coverage, it wasn't like a photosphere. But, I don't know, the score is decent. It's better than what I was expecting to get on this map. Uh, let's move on here. By the way, my apologies if I'm kind of sniffling or something. It's, my allergies are pretty bad. It's kind of annoying, but uh, yeah. So EU plates here, I think. Etna. Does that mean we're on Mount Etna? I think that could be Italian. Yeah, it's Italian plates. So where's Mount Etna? I actually don't know. I think it's on Sicily, though. Here. Um, so there's a road here, so... Uh, Maybe this. I don't know, like this or this. Not really sure. Let's go there. Oh shit, it was just in the middle of. Okay, I, so it was actually just on the trails, not on uh, uh, roads that were marked. So I guess it's like a private road where only those those vehicles were allowed. Uh, but the score is actually decent. 17,703. I thought I'd get like 10,000. Um, it actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. So other than that Iceland guess, I got the general region pretty good. Uh, well, I guess this one was kind of the wrong side of Italy. But uh, other than that, other than those two is really good. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, actually, no. No, let's play another game. It's only been seven minutes. Yeah, let's play another game. Uh, let's stop the recording so I can paste this challenge link into a Word document. Okay, let's do round two here. Challenge will be in the description below the other one. Assuming I didn't lose them once again. I, I just copy them into a Word document or paste them into a Word document. And then I put that in the video when I upload. So anyway, where's this? Mountains and then a valley here. Looks like Europe based on like the style of these towns hmm so these mountains are pretty steep and jagged but then like it seems like there's it's pretty flat in the other like this way and then this way not completely flat but there are mount there because there are mountains but not this like jagged and tall which is kind of interesting i wonder where that would be because i was thinking switzerland at first but actually i can't tell if these are other jagged mountains or if those are clouds i think those are clouds yeah they're clouds so i was thinking switzerland at first but i think switzerland would have like it would be multiple mountain ranges so you wouldn't be looking at these big flat valleys here and the mountains on the other side of the valley would be um would be taller i think Maybe something like this in Austria. I'm not sure. Maybe something more like uh, Slovenia or Croatia or one of those. Not really sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really not sure here. Uh, we do have a lot of forests, though. That could be a clue. Perhaps part of Germany, southern Germany. I don't know. Can I tell, like, what type of layout the farms have i don't really know like the different types that because obviously different parts of europe will have different farm layouts and town layouts and stuff but i can't really tell i don't think it's anywhere in in asia or north or south america um yeah based on the most of the U.S. that would, the places in the U.S. that would have mountains like this would be like Colorado or something, and they wouldn't have farms, like the layout of the farms would be more of a grid. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go with somewhere in Europe. Actually, maybe France, somewhere like this. Yeah, let's do these. Like around there, somewhere. Okay, so it's actually Slovakia, so I don't think I mentioned Slovakia. I think I was saying like Slovenia or Austria, maybe. Uh, so it's a bit farther east than I thought it would be. Um, so this is 
pretty close to the Polish border, actually. Um, so yeah, not a good score really, but I got the continent right at least, but I was pretty, pretty certain it was Europe. Uh, this looks like it's the U.S. based on the, uh, based on the cars. Probably a national park or something, or a state park. I feel like it might be cheating to look at this stuff, but, uh, where would this be? Maybe not a national park, because I don't really see anything, like, significant or important here. Unless if it's, like, Yellowstone off to the side. Uh, like, not the main part, but off in the mountains. Um, or Grand Tetons. I don't think they look like this, do they? Not really, but, like, the landscape. No, the landscape there is more, uh, has more forests, more trees. So, hmm, where would this be, then? Maybe somewhere in western Colorado, or what's I don't remember. I've been to Dinosaur National Monument, but I don't remember what it, uh, what they had there. Maybe something like this, but I don't know. I'll put it there if I don't have anything else. I kind of want to spend a bit more time on this, just because I think in the U.S. I should be a bit more familiar with um, with places like this. Could even be Eastern Oregon or Eastern Washington. That's the the thing. This type uh, type of landscape covers quite a large area. Um, yeah, it could be Utah, though. I'm going to maybe go with Utah, look around a bit, and see. Uh, I don't know. I think this area might be more forested, though. That's the thing. Um, look at that mountain, though. I'm thinking Colorado now, based on that mountain. I can't trust the compass here. But maybe over here somewhere. We do have a parking lot that's relatively busy. And look, they have these two areas here. So it's probably not too far out of the way. It might be kind of close to the interstate or something. Or maybe this highway. Um, yeah, maybe one of these. Grizzly Creek Trailhead. Well, I don't see the highway there, so I don't think it could be something like this, but I think I'm I think I'm comfortable guessing in this area, confident guessing in this area. Well, not really confident, but I'm okay with uh, guessing here, so I'm just going to stick it down there, even if it doesn't perfectly match, but... Oh, shit, it was California. Okay, well, that was a waste of time, a lot of time looking around. So, it was... Is this near Bishop? Yeah, okay. I've been to Bishop and Lone Pine in that area, but... I've only been there once, and I don't really remember it that well. Okay, so it was quite a ways off, 395, but uh, yeah, obviously there's very populated areas close by in LA and San Francisco, so uh, any hiking trail is probably going to be quite busy or has the uh, potential to be quite busy. Uh, so we're overlooking nice big lake here. Can't tell if that's Cyrillic or if it's just... Latin Latin characters in a weird font. Unfortunately, I can't see the uh, the country on the license plate, but it is an EU plate. Um, it's an Audi driving on the or steering wheel on the left. I don't know what that really does to help, but I don't know. I think somewhere like where I got that round in that Beauty of Europe map, which I actually forgot where that was. I think it was somewhere in Slovakia. Uh, actually, I'm thinking this thing now. Not going to trust the compass here. Um, there we got the, the edge of the lake, the end of the lake. Maybe something like this. Actually, it seems kind of flat though here. Maybe the other side? No, this doesn't seem to work out actually. Let's do something else. Um, maybe something like this. Like over here. It looks like it's just off on the side of the highway, so maybe something like that could work. Oh shit, Macedonia. Okay, so that was actually Cyrillic writing. Um, I, f I forgot about the Cyrillic thing when I was uh, guessing there, but... Okay, actually it was a bit off of the lake too, because right? we're up on the hill looking down at it. Uh, lake Ored, so border of Albania and North Macedonia there, so that's interesting. Let's move on though. Uh... This is in English, I think. Oh, this isn't. I think it's Spanish. 
Um, okay, so is this going to be Spanish as in Spain or Spanish as in Latin America? Looks like Latin America. Looks like a big city too. Um, yeah. Um, let's look at, uh, for some reason I'm thinking of Santiago. Oh yeah, that actually could work. That was just a, a wild guess, but maybe we're up here. Oh, this is Google Street View too, so the compass is going to be accurate. We're looking west into downtown. I don't know where their downtown is, like the big buildings. Maybe around here, so this kind of could work out, maybe. We're over here. Yeah, let's look for some... Uh, I can't read what that says. It's something starting with a C and then duh something. And we got a uh, cathedral there. Ooh, is it this? I think I might just put it up here. Oh shit, it's Bogota. Okay, uh, maybe I should have looked around a bit more, but I just saw a cathedral there and got excited. But obviously they have cathedrals in a lot of places. Uh, I don't actually know what what I was looking at there. Um, like what the sign was referring to, but anyway, so quite a ways off there even though I got the Latin America thing right. I feel like that could have been a bit easier if you're more familiar with those cities, but I also didn't want to be looking around at every single big city in Latin America. Um, thinking like Greece or something, Turkey, or... Oh, what's she wearing? That looks more... Um, like South American, so change my mind there. Or could it just be Sp uh, Spanish? Um, I'm not gonna trust the compass once again because it is a photosphere. It is a Spanish name. I looked at the name. I'm trying not to do that, but it's kind of hard not to. But I already figured it was Spanish. Like this looks like a more native south american thing though look we got some big mountains off to the or in some direction there i don't know uh it might be lake titicaca maybe i thought that was more desert but i am gonna go with that i think somewhere like this could that work i don't know we have an island oh it could be that i think we're here somewhere yeah there oh shit I should have spent more time on that. I didn't know that I'd be so close. Because uh, I did... Like, there there aren't that many other big lakes that it could have been in South America. And then, like, this island kind of worked out. So I wish I spent, like, a couple more seconds. I maybe could have done a perfect score there, a perfect round. Uh, so this game... Or this... Uh, yeah, this game was quite a bit worse than the first one. Um, this... This one was way off, and then this one especially was way off, which is kind of funny because that one was one that there was, uh, there are probably more clues uh, to figure that out. Some people will have gotten Bogota quite easily if they recognize the skyline, but I don't. And then this one, it's kind of funny because it's an American round, so I should be a bit more familiar with it, but unfortunately I wasn't. And it was somewhere where I've, I haven't been to that trailhead, but I've been to that area uh, or, or along 395. But yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for the suggestion and uh, creating the map to uh, Nicholas Rosa. Sorry once again if I'm mispronouncing that, but yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy playing the challenges, bye.